Right, we've got a lovely little uh, A1. Uh, 1.4 uh, S-Line uh, Auto. It's a one owner car, finished in Mythos Black. It's sitting on some five spoke 17 inch rims. Um, yeah, let's have a walk around. So we've got the deep grille at the front, which is all standard for this year. Color coded mirrors with the indicators, the S9 logos. So it's the Sportback, the five door version. This one's covered 50,000 miles, has had one previous keeper. Um, it's got massive documentation with it, uh, job sheets and so forth. Look to be pretty much all Audi all the way through. Um, just uh, photograph the basics. Right, we've got uh, parking to the rear. You've got twin pipe in the lower rear there. It gets a 1.4 turbocharged direct fuel injection. For a smaller car, it's got a decent bit of space. It's got a two tier, so you can drop that rear shelf down a bit more to get a little bit more space in there. It's gonna have the pump and the glue um, for the repair, spare repair. So we've got a first aid kit in there as well. LED lighting inside. Yeah, it looks like it's got LEDs on the outside lighting as well. It's in nice order, we'd just give it a quick wash down and hoover, it will be properly valeted. There's some tiny little nibbles on that front wheel there, so they'll be refurbed as part of the preparation but it's got navigation it looks like someone's probably up, upgraded it because you can unlock them on the A3s and the Q3s uh, and the A1s rather um, so it's a fairly expensive 500 quid up, upgrade but you can unlock it basically and someone has done it on this one um, you've got no isofix at the front you've got half leather trim that's the S logos. Over the other side we've got cruise control and paddles underneath the steering wheel there. Auto stalk. Um, so we got, we got the S line logos over mats in the car. It's got stub area on the roof. Or bee sting really. Not stub is a bee sting. Uh, in the back, you've got a couple of speakers in the door, base to the, I'm going to tweak it to the top there. Uh, three adult belts, two isofix positions. It's got a dark head lining. So the paintwork seems to be in good order, the old stone chip, but how old is she now? Seven years, eight years, seven years, it's 14 plate, February 14th. glass all round. We've got the door, just window switches and the mirrors heated, lock override. And that is a switch to override the mics so you can leave a window open and lock the car without the alarm going off. It's got auto lights down there, sports steering wheel, radio controls, on the right and um, the computer on the left, left hand side. Just open the door again, there we go, 51,012. Uh, it's got Bluetooth uh, phone connection there, it has actually got another plug-in connection at the back there, I saw the lead 
so you can plug a phone, the older phones especially use a USB adapter. Um, nav there, it's just a menu, different functions on the car, media, so you can use the SD cards down here, one SD slot is for your nav, map info, CD slot, you've got air con down the bottom there, ESP override, heated rear window, and the lights on. Yeah, they're just aircon functions, so, um, so it's basic aircon rather than climate. No, it is climate, no, because you've got to you can adjust the heat on that side. Um, recirculation, that's the fan speed, aircon, and that puts it up to the different vents and directions on the dash panel. Um, yeah, it looks like it's got a dim dip mirror there, dark headlining. Um, Yeah, yeah. One owner, one owner car, uh, one previous owner. Um, got a nice history with the car. I think I did see it was due a service, so that'll be included in the sale. So yeah, decent little car. Petrol, which is seems to be popular, especially with the auto box. Sensible miles, sensibly priced.